Welcome to the podcast, uh, smooth start as always. Are we doing the whole song? Yeah, I was thinking the song. That was a Star Wars theme. Guys, big news, but before we get to the big news, we got a guest on the show, Andrew Hamilton. Hamo, how are you going? We're doing it, boys. Yeah, you made it. Finally, we organised, well, Frenchie organised it. Been talking about it for a while. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we were ever going to follow through with this, so yeah. I'm stoked to be <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. But that's life. That's like, <laughs> yeah, come on our podcast. Let's catch up. It's like, kind of like with your high school mates. Like, yeah, we'll catch yeah, up we all should, the time. Yeah, let's do I've something. I've always wanted, like, if you ever actually followed up someone on that, they'd fully wig them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to do that. We should catch up. And then the next day, like, hey, man, you're still sweet to catch up. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm a very last minute guy. And so uh, we, we mm. I got him yesterday. I was like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow at 4 p.m.? He's like, oh, I'll see what time. Well, what were you doing? Community service. Community service <laughs> finishes. I'm like, we'll come court. do some more. I'm not a hero. It's court ordered. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're such you a know. good soul. <laughs> yeah, so I've done, what, 160 hours, 40 to go. 40 to go. Hit That's a lot of hours. To society. Do you think you're getting better at it? <laughs> no, it's just like mindless food prep in a homeless kitchen. So you volunteer for you foods? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> so like I think the food quality is about the same, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Are homeless people picky about what they eat? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I used to, years ago, I used to volunteer, I actually volunteer uh, with St. Vincent's Night Patrol and go out on a truck and feed the homeless and make like teas and coffees for them. Oh. And they're very fussy about everything. Um, oh. Even like they'd ask for a blanket and you'd have some blankets in the back of the truck and you'd hand them a blanket and they go, this is blue. I don't want a blue blanket. I want a green blanket. And you'd be like, mate, <laughs> you're fucking homeless. Like, take a blanket. It's, it's cold. There's some but sort of saying about this. I can't <laughs> seem. Someone shouldn't be choosers. Who is it? Biggest one. Uh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> Millionaires shouldn't be choosers. That's yeah. not it. It's medium <laughs> income earners shouldn't be choosers. No, what is it? I reckon, I reckon they can afford houses. They just can't choose one. Some of them have. <laughs> <laughs> Picking beggars. <laughs> Some of them have better iPhones than you, right? <laughs> yeah. um, but you know, for, for various reasons, they've um, they've just ended up homeless. But they also one of the rules they tell you is even if a bloke walks up um, to get food from the homeless from, from the truck, even if they're wearing like a suit, you got to give it to them because yeah. you know their full story. Even though most of them they look like they're just some drunk bloody. Um, Banker, right? Yeah, it's right. funny to steal some of the homeless food, <laughs> yeah. but you yeah. never know. Okay, so yeah, some know. Are, some dress better than others, and and you can't. Yeah, you don't want to assume. It's like it's 2023. Yeah. Do not assume <laughs> someone's not homeless. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, true. <laughs> the, I remember the ones in Edinburgh when I was doing that. Those ones are like got a lot of shit. Like because they they'll be in front of the supermarket charging their phones and like they have a few phones they got yeah. a, cause some of them are real good setups <laughs> whereas Sydney ones are a lot less uh, they don't have as much stuff yeah just a cardboard sign and stuff mm. but at least they're, they're there, there's food out there for any of them that need food. There's plenty of charities that are doing that stuff. So yeah. there's places for their shelter. There's food, um, but yes, they they can still be. My um, my mum used to be in one of those one of those van soup kitchens. She homeless? No, but I'm, what I'm wondering, she used to give the food out. But I'm wondering, was it court ordered? Because oh. I always thought she was being a good person, mm. and then at some point she just stopped doing it. I'm like, your first dad disappeared, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> like Tiger King yeah, ends up in um, Costa Rica. <laughs> um, so yes, Hamo is a comedian now. Uh, has was a dealer. Was in jail. We're going to get to all that, but first, can we get the Tom's news? Yes, let's go. Tom's news. I'm pregnant. Uh, Tom's I thought pregnant. that's what the song was you were singing at the start. I yeah. Thought, like, did you think that? Yeah, it was, I think. And then he went a on song a song for being pregnant. Well, no, like uh, walking down. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. but what I was doing, so I was teasing that. <laughs> Your voice is and then, and then, but then, But then I wanted you to be able to join in on the banter of uh, Tom's news and then everyone not be like, why is this a third voice that as Alex fucking become more manly all of a sudden? <laughs> is, he, is he back? Alex, how you going? Yeah, how you going? See, now everyone knows all the voices. Yeah. Tom can do his news. We can all participate. Uh, bro, what's going on with your voice? <laughs> Everyone's checking their speakers. There's like weird. They think their speakers are blown. It's, it's oh, peaking. I got fucked by Darren Lockyer, <laughs> <laughs> and he gave me his it's voice contagious. box. <laughs> wow. He fucked the voice box into you. <laughs> and him, three of them him and Macy Gray. <laughs> I try to say goodbye and I choke. <laughs> That's pretty good. 
<laughs> yeah, so um, I uh, wanted to copy Frenchie, so I also got engaged. Um, oh, yeah. yes. Thank you. Yeah, you yeah, got the right got button. The right Let's go. So, so you do it? yeah, I was I was telling the boys on the way up, it was very elaborate. So I made a fake flyer for an event um, for Amazon Prime because we've been to an event before and they had a staycation where you got to actually stay at this place. So I copied the wording. I made up some of my own. <laughs> so there was a typo I didn't see and she didn't notice. So I was like, good. <laughs> and she didn't even read the flyer. I was like, you should give more attention to that flyer. <laughs> Someone's made that. <laughs> Someone's made that. It's like, oh, fuck, another one of these. Yeah, cool graphic design idiots. Yeah. I'm like, okay, go easy on them. <laughs> <laughs> so I made this flyer and so I'm like, are you free on this? I asked her if she was free first on the date because I was like, oh, there might be this event. And then put the date in the flyer, <laughs> locked her in. And then um, I made this vague thing. I was like, oh, yeah, we're sc screening all the upcoming releases for Amazon Prime. And she's like, this seems really vague. I'm like, yeah, they're not thinking it through. <laughs> Was there any mention of what you're supposed to be watching on the flyer? No. <laughs> not thinking it through. I even looked at some of the stuff and I was like, none of this. She won't be excited. Got <laughs> <laughs> to keep it vague because yeah, yeah. shit. Yeah. And so we get to the hotel and we check in. And I'm like, make sure they don't fucking say something at the reception. Like, don't ask too many questions when we get there. And um, I'm like, don't put like flowers in the room or something that's going to make it obvious what's happening later because we were checking in at like three and um, it was fine. And we're like, the room was really nice. She's like, how much do you reckon this was per night? Did you have a look? I'm like, yeah, it was pretty expensive. <laughs> 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 I did have a look. Yeah, yeah. She's like, yeah, it's the type of place like it's sick that we get it for free, but you wouldn't like <laughs> want to spend that much money. I'm like, oh no, what an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and we went down to this screening room because they got like a theater and I cut together like our videos and stuff and they were on the big screen. How many seats are in the theater? Probably 30 <laughs> and it was just us That's and some silly. chick had to run in and press play on the video. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, but it was really good. Wait, so when did you realize that it wasn't an event. Um, pretty much when we were going down the stairs, they'd put like roses all down the stairs and candles oh. and stuff. And I'm like, I tried to keep going with it. I'm like, this is a bit weird for an Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, shut up, Tom. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> must be a new rom com they've got coming out. Where's, or something. Well, where's all the Big Brother cast mates? Yeah. Shouldn't they be here? It was weird as well because we got to the door and it was locked. And I'm telling her it's an event. She's like, are we the first ones here? Or like, yeah. did you get the wrong date? You fucking idiot. You always get the wrong dates there. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, nah, but it was really where, good. Where was it? Uh, QT in Sydney. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like next to the State Theatre. That's great there. Yeah, it was really nice. Um, and yeah, I was saying we... To, to secure the room, I had to put down $1,000 behind the bar. <laughs> and it's just <laughs> us two. So we got there, had like really expensive champagne. And I was like we got to start drinking because we got only got an hour to get through a thousand dollars. I reckon we got nowhere near it, but what is the most expensive bottle you can get? I think it was like one seventy. Oh fuck. Yeah. I and got that, told to stay at QT one time. I got told when you're booking, just put in the uh, digital messages. Like it's our anniversary. Just yeah, like that. And they, yeah. chuck, and they chuck in like free champagne in your room. Yeah. Oh, that's a good call. And I did it and it worked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, man. And you're there by yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So every time I say the QT, it's always my anniversary. Even yeah, that's good. Yeah, they did put it after they also did our room, which was nice. Like they put flowers everywhere and a bottle of red wine that I was already too pissed to drink. Oh, yeah. That's so, so that. good. What was the video you made? Did you actually put roundabout crew videos in it? Uh, it was mainly the oh, ones yeah. we did together, but there was a clip from Bongwater High in there. <laughs> and there was one from... Um, that dad's video we did where we run in the house and we're all pointing at Tony. Oh, <laughs> like, that's good. That's good. So that was funny. Yeah. And then did you actually drop down on one knee? I did. Yeah. yeah I did the whole thing. My, I talked to my mum today and she was like, did you, did you get down on your knees? <laughs> I was like, you mean my knee? I wasn't sucking her dick, mum. <laughs> I was proposing. <laughs> Singular knee. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it all went well. But even yeah. at reception, the chick was like, how do you know she's going to say yes? Mm. And I'm like, well, we've talked about it. And why would you say that as well? <laughs> like, why would you put that in my mind? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. To be honest, like I, I, I took a while to do my engagement. But I don't understand how you can't be pretty sure. 
Oh, um, it's I mean, so brave. Some people do it really fast and early in a relationship in a mall. You know, <laughs> you know, you've got a you're pretty good chance if they help you pick the ring out. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> yeah. And if you're picking it out by yourself, like that's oh, that's risky. A lot to risk on a. a like, ring. how do you feel about skull rings? But I didn't even know girls like gold or silver. Some of them only like gold or yeah. silver. Mm. All girls have. I thought preference. they all like everything. It's jewelry, and they're girls. No, nah, because they've got a match. Wait, so both your partners pick the ring out before you proposed yeah no i got an, a guidelines like a seven page guideline based on <laughs> cut of the ring guidelines. and the setting and the style and blah and blah, a blah. Link to the page like this is the one. yeah this yeah. is the exact <laughs> one <laughs> 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 and i didn't read it <laughs> yeah you're, you're not engaged are you have i well, I was, right? I, I was engaged um, and- In criminal wife. activity, and no. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! Uh, yeah, I was engaged uh, and sh- we went and picked out the ring together. Mm. Um, by then, uh, yes, it kind of went a bit pear-shaped. So you know the deal. And then it, if you pick it out together, you're like, she's probably going to say yes. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a good time to tell it, them that you're going to say no. I wonder what choosing. the percentage <laughs> is of people- who get rejected on the proposal? Mm. Um, the m- well, if they haven't picked out the ring with you, right? That, then the, the chances have got to be like ninety nine mm. out of a hundred that they're going to say yes. So they have to have like really fucked up in the time yeah. of purchasing the ring and proposing. But when it's just cold, I mean, I, it's a big thing. But cold, I also think say yes, get the ring. Make up your mind. Yeah. Because then you got that fucking cash. It's just so brutal when people do it on like the fucking Megatron screen. <laughs> at, at like yeah. the NFL. The Megatron. Uh, yeah. You see some of those called. ones, right? And sometimes like, the look on their face, like, I mean, do some do run away or say no and the guy yeah. gets brutally rejected. But also I think some of them say yes to save the dude's face. Yeah. And then later mm. like, hey, I was just being polite because we're in front of a thousand hey, people. Yeah. It's our third day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take it slow. Not, this yeah. is not happening. You fucking I th- weirdo. I think you should say yes in a situation like that just to and then you can say no it's not a contract yeah but, but it's but you're also a, a dickhead if you oh put yeah. them on the spot like that if you're not one million percent yeah. sure yeah because <laughs> when, when these guys faces when it doesn't pan oh. out and they're just like they've totally rejected oh. <laughs> that ruins their soul it's like their villain origin story yeah. like yeah. Andrew Tate was right <laughs> I need more Bugattis <laughs> I, I I would rather, I think, I'd get more satisfaction out of watching the rejection. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, oh. The, 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 oh, that's so sweet. You know, clap, round of applause. But when the guy's done it in front of thousands of people <laughs> when he gets rejected, I'd be like, yes! So good. <laughs> That'd be good. I, it, I'd have to laugh. That'd be a good yeah. YouTube yeah. wormhole. Yeah. Like, good. dude, why did you think this was going to work? Yeah. There are good YouTube wormholes of that That'd shit. That'd be a good one to go down. I love Worst the- Worst reject- <laughs> yeah. proposal rejections yeah. ever. That's going to be a good time. Uh, yeah, like someone- a flash mob- like the whole family's learned a routine and you still get rejected. <laughs> yeah, it would be like, I was gonna say yes till you started choreographed dancing. When you started probably. dry humping my mum. <laughs> <laughs> I lost all arousal fuel yeah. I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Frenchie got me flowers. Congratulations. Very sweet. Yes. It is very nice. Mm. Well, that's why I was a little bit late. Yeah. 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 So, I wanted to wanted to duck in and get him something, and I said, let's make it match Hammer's shirt. I knew he'd be wearing a yellow yep. shirt. How did you know? <laughs> Nailed that. <laughs> so, are the flowers for Tom or for Tom's missus? Yeah, that's a good Tom, question. Definitely. Okay. Come on. <laughs> She'll get enough flowers. <laughs> no one thinks about the guy. Uh, you know what? Megan, like, gets all the congratulations. She gets mm. all the presents. Mm. Oh, they're joint presents. I don't like flowers. Why are you giving me that? That's not a joint present. That's for her. Mm. I'm the one who's got to spend the money on the ring. What, what would you like? Uh, cash back, please. <laughs> 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 like fifteen dollars in an envelope, like my auntie used to give me. Yeah, that was Just nice. A few thousand of them. I, then- I had when I had my <laughs> restaurant opening. Like when I used to own a restaurant, I had a guy from my footy club came with a big uh, thing of flowers for me for the restaurant, and I thought that was nice. It was, yeah, yeah. You mm. know, guys don't buy cl- for other guys' flowers. That mm. often. I agree. <laughs> I, I think maybe I do want flowers then, but I want yeah, them to be for on? me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Personally, so you had a restaurant too. I, I did. Fuck, um, you've had a life, bro. Yeah, oh, because so it was a pizza bar in Kings Cross, and that was wh- when I got arrested. That was the <laughs> article that was in the in the Daily Mail. It said, "From pizza man to party drug king." Oh, wow! 
great headline, bro. At least you're a king. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's nice. <laughs> at least you're a king. That is a nice headline. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, did you save all the clippings that were on you in the paper? Yeah, I've got them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all on my wall at home. But, uh, yeah, I just because I used to have a joke that I was age about, it was nice to be referred to as a king because if I was, even though I was more of a drug prince, it wouldn't have a great <laughs> ring to it to be referred to as Prince Andrew. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> because we know how from the comedy you've seen his set a yeah, few yeah, times yeah. we know from the comedy world and he does a lot of his bit is about how he got arrested and jail and stuff like that so we know all like these crazy stories but we never had any sort of linking up it's almost more those ones like he's an onion we get more <laughs> hints the next yeah. time like what the fuck you had a p so you had a pizza store so you might as well tell everyone what you were doing so I, yeah, I got arrested for the large. I went to prison for the large commercial supply of magic mushrooms, <laughs> and the large commercial supply of acid, and the commercial supply of MDMA, and cocaine and ketamine. Oh, you had it all. I, had it, I was a one-stop shop. Because um, <laughs> I think in the bit, I definitely remember the focus was on the mushrooms. Well, like, that was oh, the just one. A harmless little mushroom guy. <laughs> yeah. So the other ones I had in smaller quantities. The one that kept me in prison was the mushrooms. Oh, really? It was like a large amount of it. It was nearly half a kilo of a class A. Um, and yeah, it's so weird mushrooms are class A. Yeah. Well, I mean, now that they've they've legalized them for medical use. Yeah, I saw that. Hours, so yeah. It's, um, it's also yeah. weird you're allowed to- So you were a doctor, really? <laughs> so an unlicensed medical professional. Yeah, yeah. I prefer to, I prefer to be <laughs> and your community service is in a kitchen. Yeah. Lots of mushrooms there, so yeah. I'm not saying yeah. they're trying to make you relapse, but it seems like some sort of elaborate Triggering. sting operation. Triggering. <laughs> You've almost got your restaurant back in a way. How yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this, is a, this is a good series. You've got to turn this into a series. How long um, were you dealing for till they got you? Uh, 16 years. Oh, oh wow. yeah. You had a good run there. Wow. Wow. You could have yeah. had sex with your career. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that that's where your head was at first, like 16. Like, oh, I actually came on. Yeah. <laughs> some, some states at 17, but that's okay, Tom. Um, but Tom, that's but good. Yeah. Uh, but then we were talking about uh, engagements before. My fiance, um, she had like, she'd had too much coke and she had like a mental breakdown. She had psychosis and oh, shit. she ran off and told the cops that I had a house full of drugs and got me raided. And that was, uh, that was <sighs> what brought it all undone after a good little run. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is so bad. Nothing yeah. you did wrong, really. <laughs> you well. could have kept going forever. <laughs> yeah. I, I kept saying like I was going to open a few restaurants and then retire. But I mean, I think, you know, I, I got you so used to just, um, the fun of it and the, and um, the money that I, mm. I don't I think I never would have retired until you got done happened. yeah like yeah. Wolf of Wall Street bro well yeah I mean I was doing so much coke I either would have like died or got arrested at some point yeah <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're not supposed to get high off your own supply <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's that true. Just a myth. but they also say like the first rule of business is buy low sell high right? <laughs> okay <laughs> you're selling so the rules very, are confusing you were selling very high <laughs> oh so high so, uh, <laughs> so after she told the cops did they do a big operation where they watched you for a while no they, they just went straight into uh, your house no so what happened was uh, they I laid low for a while after that happened, but then like I was just doing coke and being a dumb cunt, and I <laughs> thought that it was like the, the coast was clear that they were they were ever going to raid me that they would have. Wait, then. wait, wait, wait. So you found out she told them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then I just got too cocky. I thought that I was, I just when you're doing coke all the time, you just you're, you're, you're right. invincible. Your logic is not. You're invincible. Yeah, you think in your head that yeah you're gonna live forever, right? Mm. And so, um, yeah, I, I picked it back up after about six months and then uh, got raided then. But um, fortunately, they only got me. They didn't get anyone else that I was involved with. And, uh, and even then, they got me for you know, a, a small amount of um, the, the bigger picture. Did, so, they did they have body cams when they got you? Yeah, they did. Do you, do you, do so you my house got raided by the Raptor Squad, which is like the organised crime squad. And I was at home. On like day three of a coke bender, I was watching like a <laughs> Guy Ritchie movie called Son of Man, right? Good movie. I was like, no, I don't think I've that. seen it. And then any, any movie's good if you've done <laughs> enough coke, but. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, this movie's. You know, <laughs> then I heard this crack in the front door, and I thought some fat junkie in Surrey Hills had like <laughs> fallen into my front door, but then I heard. <laughs> 
police search warrant. Oh, shit. And I was just like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so I ran upstairs and started flushing drugs down the toilet. And uh, then they raided the house and started, I could hear them, their footsteps running up the stairs and I ran and hid behind my bedroom door and <laughs> they found me and <laughs> tack, threw me to the ground. And that's, that's one of my favourite jokes you do on stage is about the flushing of the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but I say that the time it takes for the big flush to recharge <laughs> will never seem longer than when, yeah. <laughs> when the cops are that's bashing through the door. <laughs> when, like, you're come try, on. when you're trying to flush drugs down the toilet, bro. <laughs> I literally repeated that to my mum this morning for some Did reason. <laughs> I was saying we're having you on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's funny. funny. So, I was dying, bro. So I didn't do a very good job because there was still heaps of drugs in the house. So anyway. <laughs> Behind uh, the door, were you proud of that hiding spot? Or you <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was so fat. I was so fat at the time as well. So like the door. <laughs> Behind the door. <laughs> and, like, the door was like just half a jar. I was like. <laughs> you You're know. like one of those kids who thinks they can't be seen because they're holding their hands <laughs> over their face. Like, if, if I can't see them, they can't yeah. see me. You got a towel over your head, <laughs> <laughs> legs Stop popping out. And then, yeah, so they <laughs> threw me out. They they pin me out, and they, but, <laughs> the, weirdly, the the guy from the Raptor Squad they must have so many Red Bulls before they raid a house. Yeah, oh. he kept up. I was like, oh, I have got no weapons. I'm like just standing there hiding, like, and he just like. He put his knees in the back of my legs as he had me on the ground and was like, stay down, you fake cunt. You've got a tiny cock. <laughs> and I was like, I had my, I had my pants on. I'm like. How so does he know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how does he know? That's how I knew I must have been under surveillance. But, um, so X-ray uh, I was like, that's such dudes. an unnecessary comment. So yeah. then, like when the Raptors board guys left and the like, uh, actual proper thinking man's detectives came in and I just told them uh, the, what he said. He was like, would you like to lodge a formal complaint? Like, like, what are you doing? Like, they, they bullied me. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. They Hot said a mean thing. <laughs> <laughs> So. That's that's the absolute UA. We call that an unprovoked attack. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Yeah, that's fine. So, do they? Did you get to see the body cam footage? No, nah. because can't you? I think legally, if you can request, you it. can request That'd it. Be funny That'd be as. a sick opening for your show. Put on the screen, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> some sort of like cursor type music. I don't know. Or fuck the police, maybe that's all you'd do, probably. Yeah. Just yeah. Get of this guy like honey. honey. <laughs> 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 Do like a remix to when he says you got a tiny cock, like some kind of YouTube song. Like an old school yeah. one. <laughs> you got a tiny cock, 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 cock. You fat cock, so, you fat yes, cock. Yes, that was the beginning of the end. That was the beginning of the end. So it. what happens after that? So you're busted. Do you go straight to I, prison jail? Uh, you get taken to Surrey Hill <laughs> lock up. You get yeah. there overnight and the, and it's shit there. Um, yeah. Like shit at them. Like, Police lockup is shitter than prison. Yeah, right. Are you with someone in the lockup? Yeah, I was in in a like a uh, like underground cell with uh, maybe like six or seven other guys. This big kind of like room. so it is like the movies. Yeah, and is the toilet just next to everyone? Yeah, it's just there's no wall or anything there. It's just, Oof, just, it's just like the movies. In front of everyone. Wow. There's no, there's no pillows. Uh, there's no windows. There's no lo- natural light. You're just down in this like pit, the pits, and then. Uh, you went to court and I, I thought, because I was so deluded and also I was still very high, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought that I was going to get bail, right? And then my lawyer was like, no, mate, like you're, you're pretty fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's got like, you got, they got you on two indictable offences, like two large commercial charges. Like you're going to get denied bail here, but um, we can go – for Supreme Court bail, and you'll have a better chance at that. But you're going to probably be in prison for about six weeks before we get to that. And Oof. so in my uh, head, I was like, okay, I can handle six weeks. Mm. And then I ended up being in there so much longer because, um, yeah, I, my, my lawyer got sick and he had to pull out of the case. Oof. And um, I, I, it turned out he hadn't even put in the application for Supreme Court bail. So uh, he had I, your mushrooms. I, was about, I was about six mm. weeks in when I found out that like we hadn't even put in the application to start the six week process yet. So he had your mushrooms, bro. I think um, that's what happened. No, that would have cured him. I got a different lawyer and <laughs> I had a call with him on video because of COVID, no one, there was no visits. And oh, he, he said to COVID. me, uh, Andrew, I need to do a lot of stuff before we go for Supreme Court bail. Um, you're going to have to be in there a while longer. And at that point I said, that's fine. Um, and he goes, what do you, he goes, really? I go, yeah, that's fine. Take your time. And he goes, I'll be honest. You're the most relaxed person we've ever had. <laughs> you're the most relaxed client I've ever had about being in prison. And I said, it's fine. I'm having a good time in here. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, what? No way. I know it's not very PC, but I, I was, I had a ball. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? <laughs> well, people on the outside were like stuck in their houses um, oh, because yeah. of lockdown. I was playing touch footy <laughs> and sunbaking. And, and, and it's all probably all the boys you sold drugs to, so you'd be a, like have a lot of friends there. I was. Well, I mean, if you're in there for what's considered disgusting charges like mm. rape, anything sexually based or yep. involving a child or the elderly or a, or if you're a police informant, all those guys get put in protection in the boneyard. Um, but if you're just in the general yard, um, then you're just considered time. just another bloke. And like people thought like my charges were a novelty. They're like, this guy's in here for mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's <What>? funny. <laughs> the that local is. joke star. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever um, interact with the, with the other charges, the boneyard? Did you ever get to see him in the hallway and be like, let's put a hit on him? You know, as uh, we've seen, I'm a, every question I'm going to ask you is from a movie mm. or a TV show I've seen. Did your brother come in with tattoos with a map of the prison <laughs> on him? Will be the next question. <laughs> yes, we had this whole escape plan. <laughs> I, yeah, I've gone through like every jail, like uh, TV and, and film, to try and think of jokes. Like, sure, I should do a Shawshank joke. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. That's where everyone gets their ideas about prison from all this stuff, right? Then you yeah. get there, and it's just not. It's not like that at all. You know, it's fun. Well, I mean, for for me for four months because it was like um, it was like rehab to me and cleaned mm. me up and um, and made me appreciate even though I lost everything because I was breaking the law I, I realized all the things that I took for granted you know like mm. um, people that love you my health I would just I'd gotten so fat and unhealthy that um, I realized how important just having a, a a body that works is like guys yeah, are yeah. disabled in prison. You're like, fuck that looks shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's probably like redheads in there too. <laughs> when they're, they're out in the yard in the sun, that's tough. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's tough. Uh, there was, um, <laughs> there was, there was a trans inmate that got taken into my wig. Oh like shit. Day. Um, and like as soon as the, tra the trans woman, was brought into the wing. You could see guys sit there going, shotgun. Yeah, <laughs> wow. That's so dangerous to that put a like a trans woman in there. And then they they, she got yeah. moved out. Yeah, um, good. Straight away. But uh, you could see just oh, how yeah, trouble. dangerous yeah. those kind of situations can be. Yeah, that's what I, what I used to worry about because I had a quite nice long legs <laughs> and a mm. boyish little, well, not bottom, I'll say boyish, but like, you know. Lovely. I got the yeah. legs. You'd be popular. I'm thin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have been now. I'm, I've lost it a bit. I got more of a golem physique. <laughs> so it's be, I'm, I will be all right now. But. I don't know. You've still got it, I think. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'll hold your pocket, don't worry. <laughs> Do people hold pockets there? Nah, I mean, hold only, only as like a joke, but like, oh, no. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay, can we, can we back up a second? Because yeah. I want to like, what happens? Okay, what prison did you go to? So I got taken to Park Lee Prison. Usually when you go straight from J uh, from like police station lockup, you go to either Park Lee or to uh, Silverwater, MRRC, which yep. is Metropolitan R Remand and uh, Reception Centre. So you either go to one of those jails and then you get um, a classification, and then you get they're, they're transit jail. So yeah, you get moved there, go, and then yeah. you get moved out to other jails right. after that. After your sentence? Uh, no, not after your sentence. After oh. you like get get a classification in process. Remand. So based on your charges in um, for what you've been accused of. But is that why you were in the fun jail? Because your charges weren't that well, bad. Mine with the, mine were class A. I was, I was the highest charges, so I had to be in with like murderers and everyone. Like, uh, oh shit! Okay, yeah. go you, go you. My bad, my bad. For my for, for my drugs charges, yeah. That's and do they strip strip up. search you and you shower yeah, as you go in? So many times, yeah. You just become just a slab of meat. You know, you get yeah. I've been on festival. It's fine. Desensitized to it, <laughs> lifting your ball sack and your ears and having a squat and cough and all. Do you ever write funny out? things under your ball sack to make? Them <laughs> Draw eyes on them or something. <laughs> or just put peas in there. Just so they're like, why is there peas in your balls? Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you just you, you just it happens so many times so quickly. You just the first time you feel uncomfortable, then you just get used to it. You just, yeah. You're mm. Just another fucking it's a bit of me popsicle. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. And then so you, I got taken to Parkley. Then you straight away you get put into quarantine for two weeks because of COVID. I think they might even, they might even still be doing it. I'm not quite. I don't know no, for, for sure. But yeah, back then you get put in a cell for two weeks, 
and you're only allowed out. The first five days, you didn't leave your cell at all. And then after that, you're only allowed out for half an hour. That's crazy. And uh, I had like no TV, no books, no nothing. I was just like pacing up and down my cell for days. I had a cellmate, but um, yeah, it was that I, was the hardest part because you just, you're stuck in your own head yeah. with your f- own fuck ups. Like what has led mm. you to be here? And you've got nothing to distract you. So it yeah. was, that was the worst part of prison by far. That sucked balls. So there's a show I always talk about called 60 Days In and they yep. did it during lockdown and that like fucked people up because they had to do the quarantine with only, but they got an hour, but it still fucked them up. Like yeah. most people couldn't even, and they'd been to prison pass. before. Like these were all like people who had been to prison going back. And yeah, they that was the hardest part for all of them, it's I hard. think. Yeah. Um, there were a few times throughout the four months that I was locked up that we had like COVID outbreaks and that kind of thing where we got locked back away at Long Bay. I got locked away for like 10 days straight. And even like you see in movies when <coughs> guys get put in solitary confinement and they start to go loopy. Yeah. Um, and they're usually like in the darkness or whatever. Um, I found you start to go loopy like way faster than <laughs> <laughs> you like don't go completely insane but you just start to like mutter to yourself and like laugh laugh at just really dumb things like me really and my soulmate would just be there like just like <laughs> <laughs> you just uh, kind of like love island <laughs> you know because they're just there in the villa with just themselves they go a bit crazy everyone's kind of watching them going that's that shit's not that dramatic or that's not funny yeah well yeah i would rather go to prison than love island i'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably take Love Island. <laughs> okay. I'll, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, it's a hot shit. You said it was yeah. fun, bro. You said it was fun, though. It, it got fun. Okay, I think got also, fun. I think the, con- the, the contrast between that bit, the quarantine, and then yeah. anything after that was like... Yeah. Because yeah. moving from two weeks in quarantine to then being in the yard... And it being just like, uh, it was tense and there was a lot of aggra- guys were getting bashed uh, uh, quite a lot. And even that, I was like, at least it's not boring. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> Did you get bashed? No, nah, I didn't. But, Fuck, um, good stuff, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of guys, you know, the, the smallest things could set people off, you know, particularly in a yard in, in a yard of like 70 guys and there's only like four phones and you've got to queue up and then guys like try and push in front of you. Or yeah. Whatever. Like the smallest, like the, the smallest thing can set anyone off because they're all just mentally, um, you know, on edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alex had a good question about the showers. Yes, yeah, ask oh, the okay. question. Ask it. Yeah, why don't they just put in liquid soap? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess I've never really thought about that. But uh, the, oh, the, some guys do have like, um, you can buy like body wash um, soaps, not the ones that just slip out of your hand. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> never better go over to pick that up. But yeah, so at Park Lee. Uh, he you, put that in the chat and I was crying. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> You, you fortunately, you at Parkley, you've got the showers are in your own cell, so it's only oh, you okay. it's you and your cellie using that shower. Um, but then at Long Bay, the showers are in the yard instead of your cell. Well, that's yeah, that's a bit different to what we see. We see that shower block, everyone's having fun until one dude comes and everyone got, looks at each other and goes, Get out, someone's yeah, gonna get yeah. shanked. <laughs> yeah, then everyone gets totally down, some dude doesn't even look behind him, and then he turns around, and he's like. Oh no! Imagine yeah. like a big basketball court, right? Um, that has like uh, a bit where there's kind of like uh, roofing that's covered. There's shade where that's got all the phones there. Then there's like a basketball ring, and at the other end of the wall, there's like a toilet block, uh, like corrugated iron uh, toilet block, and then a strip of maybe like five or six uh, showers. But the doors to the showers are like up to your waist. So if a guy walks up to that door they can just completely check you out nude right um so a lot of the middle eastern guys that are quite fussy about their privacy they'll bring bed sheets out to the Uh, to the yard and then they'll tie them up um at the start of the day so that all of the the block of showers have privacy and then um over the course of the day um people just join the queue of like uh whoever's next on, on on a certain shower Right, uh, so you'd be like, you'd see your mate Dave's join that queue, so you'd be like, Dave, I'm after you. So then they'd have to remember who's after them, and right, uh, and it would just the list would go on. So then at some point you'd hear someone go, "Hamo," and then you'd, it's your turn in the shower, <laughs> and then you know you just sit there with whoever else is in the showers, just like you know, washing people are borrowing each other's shampoo, conditioner, <laughs> you know, having a. But it was all very fun having a goss, having a <laughs> gossip. Yeah, that's yeah. funny, bro. Did um. Do you ever get letters from uh, jail groupies? 
Is that a thing? Uh, I, I, so <laughs> I did get a letter one time. My mate James, who was uh, one of my, my buddies at Long Bay, had written to one of his female pen pals and told yes. her to write, to write me. Yes. So I didn't even, but he didn't tell me. So That's then I got this... Uh, I got this letter from a girl whose name I can't remember, but she was at Dilwini, a like, women's prison. And <laughs> she's like, hey, Andrew, uh, your friend James told me to write you a letter, blah, blah, a little bit about me. Um, I'm in prison for um, uh, assault, um, <laughs> theft, et cetera. <laughs> et cetera. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like any time you have to write et cetera when rattling off your crimes, I'm like, probably too She's many. a keeper. <laughs> probably too e many. TCL. Yeah. And um, so for some reason, my mum had had sent me in like all these photos of the family, but she'd also sent me in a bunch of photos of myself. Like just <laughs> individual photos of just me. And I'm like, Crazy I'm like, what, like, you what does my mum like? think I'm just going to have like a whole wall of photos of myself <laughs> on the wall? So I, I put this in the letter back to this girl because uh, I thought maybe they'd want to <laughs> pass around. I'm like, oh, surely I'm going to be a better looking guy yeah. than half the guys are writing a letter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know what this girl looked like, but I thought at least if she shows a few photos around a women's prison, maybe I could get, get a, a few more letters, yeah, few more yeah, letters yeah. going, you know? Yeah. And were, <laughs> so, But my mum was disappointed that I, g I gave away all my <laughs> photos. She's like, I thought you'd want to see what you know what you look like in a suit, like what you could look like well, you know, again when you get out of prison. I'm like, I don't no. want to look at fucking photos of myself on the wall. I look like a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fishing, mum. Then put some chum in the water <laughs> did you get any back because yeah, you go i might have mail in my say hey mate can i borrow that <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh but then i got i got uh released uh i got bail soon after that so do you ever go back just to pick up your letters <laughs> 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 do they do mixes with the women's prison Mixes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not prom. School dancers. There was uh, like dancers. They should, but one, they should. They should. Yeah. Once a month, you have a, like a school dance. One bloke I was in the yard with at, uh, at Long Bay was telling me a story. I think it was from Silverwater. There's a bit where it, um, the prison kind of there's a fence that connects from the male prison to the women's prison, and uh, the women's prison was doing like the laundry, and so he was a sweeper. He had like a job. A sweeper is like a, a sort of respected job in jail you get to like be out of your cell for longer and you sweep the floors and hand out food and mm. all that kind of stuff so he and a bunch of other guys got told they would had to go to this um bit in the fence where they handed all the laundry to these female inmates so they were like boys we're on here we're like fucking let's go chat them up you know let's put in our best word on these female inmates and they got there they walked over and then they saw these female inmates and the female inmates were like can you cock out now? Oh Show us your cock right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And then the guys go. were just terrified. They just threw the laundry and ran away. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> they let's thought that were going to be like putting oh, it on the chicks. They said yeah. the but the chicks were like on heat. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> Can you cock out now? <laughs> Show it to me. And they were like, run, boys, run. Run. <laughs> so that did not go how they had planned it. I imagine in their head. That would be a good YouTube video. You know how like those pickup artists mm. picking up female prisoners at the Day they get out or whatever, think, you're waiting yeah. for them as they. I don't think you have to do much work. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, there's no artistry in that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> there was a website. So um, it depends how like desperate you get, boys. If you're on like a proper cold streak, mm. you know where to go. Well, I was, we I was talk, oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, I was going to say I saw a um one of those prison shows and it was like about romances and stuff. And I was I looked online because I was going to write a letter as Frenchie to a bunch of prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. But then I was like, I don't want to put my return address. So I didn't I, do it. When I, before I got sentenced, when I started doing comedy, but before I got sentenced and I thought I was going back to jail, this girl came up to me at the end of um, a show and asked if she could write me letters when I went to jail. And then when I ended up not going back to jail, I messaged her on Instagram. I was like, hey, I'm not going back. Like you can just chat to me like, out here and she was like oh nah <laughs> oh nah <laughs> that's <laughs> like it was, strange it was isn't only it? it was only the, it was only appealing if i was still locked up mm. it's it's I, a bit cool uh, i don't is. want to talk to you while say. you're out here yeah <laughs> do some crime get back do in some there cruel, yeah. yeah it's it's a tough one it is a bit cooler though <laughs> well for some people i'm sure I think that must be the, the appeal for some of these guys Guys that are in prison for 20 years because they were mass murderers and something and these girls are in love with them and write them letters. But then if the guy ever got released, they're like, oh, nah. <laughs> yeah. Come visit me at the soup kitchen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, there's just something about when it's uh, when you're 
unreachable. We can't mm. actually see the person in person mm. because they're, they're locked up. Suddenly, they're, they're more appealing than, How do you than the idea of actually having to spend real time with them. <laughs> yeah. How do you think Tom would go in prison? Okay, you're in there, you see this one entering in, sheepish, first day, walks in the yard. What are you thinking? Tell them, take a short. <laughs> you're with the boys, you're with the guy, hey, friends, just smile. Hey, guys. Hey, boys. Um, Nice she, day for it. <laughs> she had her sister's ID. Girl. <laughs> that's his, that's his well, first right, let's not add in <laughs> sex crimes because we're going to get stabbed <laughs> in this situation. No, no, no. You said that as a joke to ease the tension. Oh, okay. You were like pretending to be a pedophile first day in the yard. <laughs> <laughs> you just kill someone, okay? Accidentally hit and run or whatever. They caught me red-handed. It was a hymen. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the, I mean, guys would probably have an eye out for what kind of buy up food you get. You can get up to like, if you have loved ones putting money into your account, mm. you get up to a hundred bucks of groceries a week. So, mm. some guys that look like pushovers will get like a hundred bucks worth of groceries, and as soon as it arrives, guys will go into his cell and just like take it all. So give me it. Yeah, and if they, and even if they say, oh, like even that's enough, they'll just punch him in the head. Um, yeah, so wow. do you just and in that instance, do you just have to punch him real quick, or you just give it to him and then like wait no, a week? You, you just, you're better off fighting back and copping a beating because then at least guys know that you stand up for yourself. Yeah, um, you'll you'll find that guys are more likely to back you up if you're willing to fight for yourself. You know, but, um, but if you're getting it every week, can you make a deal with him? Is or is that that's just oh, a slippery guys, slope? I've heard a lot of stories about that. that the guys would um, have someone who um, they paid for protection, right? Yeah. So it'd be either money going to their account their account on the outside or maybe some buy up stuff on the inside maybe half their buy up for if they're getting a hundred dollars worth they're giving 30 40 bucks of it to someone for protection that kind of stuff happens yeah what, um, what about friendship with his legs is that going to help or <laughs> hinder <laughs> <laughs> well I'll, yeah i would i think i'll just go i'll make the mullet a bit rattier yeah. I'll try to get some better tattoos and then I think I'd be all right. You don't have any tattoos. Exactly. I'd get some better ones. <laughs> a couple of quick tats. Quick yeah, tats, yeah. Get, yeah, maybe um, like a teardrop. Oh, yeah. 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 One of those like spider webs on the elbow. Yeah. I think instead yeah. of teardrop, I think I'll go full crying emoji face. <laughs> <laughs> huge <laughs> blue <strange>. tears. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Edward Norton in that, I think it's 48 hours or something, where he um fucking gets someone, he shaves his head. And then he gets someone to bash his face in so he's not so pretty before he goes into prison. Oh, yeah. hectic. Mm. I'll just grow a mono or something. What do you mean grow? Um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> what a gap. There's a gap between my eyebrows. I'm you know there is. Mono. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is. Well, um, well, before we forget, you're doing a show in Melbourne. Yes. First I, Melbourne Comedy Fest? Yeah. So I, I, I feel like, I mean, I've only been doing comedy now for just over a year. Yep. And uh, I have put my hand up to do an hour show, even though I don't fully feel like I'm uh, good enough to do it yet. Uh, mainly mm. because I was like, if I'm still talking about the four months I went to prison <laughs> in like two years, I'm going to fucking shoot myself. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I was like, I'd rather just um, get it done so then I can start to figure out what else I want to talk about. What else I find funny. Yeah. So I called the show Jokes About the Time I Went to Prison. Yep. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> title. Because <laughs> you see all these, sh like people have shows, right? And like nobody knows who they are. And it's just one word, like yep. daffodil or something, right? Yeah. yeah. And then like... What's that? Gonna, Come what's that dragon. Yeah, I think I think that's a good way to do it because, like, the ones that have, like, for example, um, the guy before me, like, had like Wog in his name, yep. like, in his show name, and then like that community just comes because yeah, they're like, I'm going to relate to some of this. Uh, exactly you're like, going to have a lot of crims, which is good, <laughs> right? Well, my my audience on TikTok seems to be uh, bikies, uh, prison guards, <laughs> and cops. That's people so that's funny. Like, imagine all these people in the same room together. Yeah. Like, I recognise you, you dog. You fucking yeah. lock me imagine out. Imagine that. <laughs> but, Start crowd working. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> but I figured, with, at least with a name like that, uh, there's no one that's going to be like ten minutes into my material and be like, what the hell? This guy's been in jail. Yeah, true. Yeah. I'm leaving. Like, this yeah, is outrageous. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, that's great. So, yeah. yes. no, well, you'll get the militia coming now. What, what was the other name for our listeners? The uh, oh, we children. Had a, yeah, our children. You'll get our children, the militia coming. When you do go to his show, make sure you, you tell him you're from the podcast. <laughs> yeah. yes. what, so you're on every, every you're doing a full run? I'm doing uh, three weeks. I'm doing 16 shows. Amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Um, Where you at? Um, at a room called the Bard's Apothecary, which is in the CBD, but I'm at like 10.30 at night. So it's like, Ooh, late. 
I need uh, uh, I need honey people to get around. Need some to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it in the c- centre? It's in the city centre. Oh, that's, that's fine. good. Yeah, that's yeah. people are more likely to see a show if they can go to a pub before or like yeah. be in the vibe before yeah. or after. And, our um, mate, our mate um, Evan's really good at doing that because he'd he'd go down to the street and he'd get people to come up and even like if he was having a slow night he'd just fill the room with people for free and then at the end he'd like pass a hat or something yeah and just be like i have to pay for this space <coughs> if you enjoyed the show yeah. don't I? it's a good way to do it because otherwise you'll just have fucking no one like my grinder mine was like a bit mine was in north melbourne it was just like there was no people just around you yeah, know it was a bit tougher yeah they're, they're only there to see tom's show but yeah but yeah, yeah but yeah so their tickets are through your website um, or Melbourne Comedy website? Yeah, the Melbourne, Melbourne Comedy, Comedy Festival yeah. website. There's information. So, and Andrew obviously, Hamilton. if you're following him on TikTok or Instagram, you can find them like that. There's plenty of time to get him. I will be out the comedy. Fe- I'll be at the comedy festival, so I'll check yeah. out his show one night. Try to try to come that night too. It's but fun though. I really enjoyed it, and like yeah. you can, you could probably it's do lots sick. of different small spots and you get so before, much better. And since you're later, get to you get it's, so it's, much better. Yeah. That's what all my mates said about. So we, I had my trial trial show. We had this warm up show on Friday night, and all my cricket mates saw you for like the second or third time. They're like, Tom's really good now. I'm going. Because he did a full run of yeah, Melbourne, yeah. an hour of jokes, and then when he's doing a ten minute set, he's More just relaxed, doing. Yeah, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing sixty minutes to eight people. That's <laughs> the nice thing about doing an hour and struggling to get tickets, then going and doing a five minute spot. You're like, I don't even need to think. Yep, like just it's so moment. easy. Yeah, and hopefully there's this uh, one Patreon we got. His name's Curly. Yeah, he's a fucking loser's cunt. Oh, yeah, he he's come loose. to the hell trial show. What did his shirt fucking say? Fucking mortal. He said Xander impregnated my wife or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the back it said Tom's a pedo. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah. I think he's he's a great supporter and we love him. He's very funny, but he's a, like. Actually- Crazy, I, he's so funny. I had to get permission from Community Corrections to go to Melbourne, right? Because I, I have to get permission uh, to leave the state. Right. At the moment. For the next two years, I'm still on an intensive corrections order, which means not only in, do I have to do community service, which I've almost done, but I also can't leave the state without permission from Community Corrections. Wow. So I'm pretty sure I've got to be the only person performing at the Melbourne International Comedy Festival that had to get permission from, <laughs> <laughs> from the criminal justice system to yeah, do that. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so that's good. a claim in itself. Let's go. That should be like the tag at the bottom of your podcast. Yeah. <laughs> podcast. Well, do you, do you have to wear an ankle monitor? <laughs> can, you, can you for uh, fashion? <laughs> you know they're expensive? Like you, to, to rent them, like when you get bail, if part your conditions is to wear an ankle bracelet mm-hmm. they cost heaps um for you have to because you have to rent them right oh, you can't buy it out right well <laughs> in case <laughs> i might need well, this you again. never know yeah yeah well it's always if you buy it you won't need it again you rent mm-hmm. it you'll need it again and then you trade it up you <laughs> so, trade it up for so a new model pay for the tech nerds that have to like track you if if you break it or whatever yeah the upkeep of these bloody things yeah it costs i went to the money uh, like it was ages ago I went to the gym in Parramatta and there's this big dude working out and he's got a fucking ankle monitor on and I was like Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> won't use his machine until <laughs> they drop a weight and they're like, yeah. like shit yeah. <laughs> well uh, that's where I saw the TikTok he did apparently they don't even use weights in jail did you know that yeah I, I kind of assume that because yeah, they're pretty like, um, good weapons and they use like sandbags and uh, um, pl- plastic bags full of water stuff like that that's a lot of body weight stuff, push ups, squats. How much TV are you allowed a day? Last question, then we'll move on, maybe. <laughs> so you probably won't. So at Long Bay, you get locked up. You're out of your cell from about uh, just before 8 a.m. Mm. till two, about just before 2 p.m. So you, you're out for six hours, then you get locked away for the day at 2 p.m. And then you can watch TV uh, yeah. for as long as you want. Wherever you're in the TV room. Oh, you, no, got you, oh you, got oh, you got your own TV. Oh, you got your own. Oh, so that's rent, lit. So if you can't sleep, you can just watch TV. Well, if you want to, you can well, stay but, up all night. But, but do you, you and your roommate watch the same thing? Well, you have got to have a good cellmate oh, that you yeah. agree on the, on the yeah, stuff to yeah. watch. So I had one cellmate who I didn't really get along with great, who as soon as I got into the cell, he was like twice my size, this big, a scary looking dude. He was like, non-negotiable. Home and away four nights a week. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Jackpot. A lot of guys, Let's go. A lot of guys in jail watch Home and Away. Fuck That's yeah. so funny. I'm for yeah. it. Why not? Something That's to look forward to. You know we yeah, belong it's, it's, together. It's something about the, 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 the consistency that it's just something to rely on. So they watch that mm. and then they talk about it. But on th- I didn't know on Thursdays, it's, it's like a triple episode. Like it goes for like 90 minutes. <laughs> and so I'm like fucking sitting there doing my Sudoku puzzles or something. And I'm like, Jesus, episode Home and Away is going for a while. 
a hole. He's like, <laughs> it's like Thursday's triple episode. <laughs> That's so funny. All this other shit. So anyway, I only stayed with him for about a week before I found another cell. Ah, uh, you look on classifieds. <laughs> <laughs> on on cellmate.com, cellmate finders. Cellmate.com, so, bro. Yeah, but then you find other cellmates you can log with and you just sit there all night eating chips and like chocolate and <laughs> watching uh, game shows and like uh, and movies <laughs> and you agree. Like, oh man, <laughs> fucking Shawshank's on again. Like, you know, <laughs> for the 15th time, this it'll be on every week. <laughs> He'd be like, yeah, all right, let's watch it. And then <laughs> this is so funny. We're going to get, one day we'll get another ex-con on and we're going to be like, oh, I heard prison was He's fun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna what the fuck? <laughs> gonna talk about how I'll pop you there was. right now, can't. Yeah, that's so funny. Call me a lying cunt because he has like some traumatic experience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got lucky. A lot of guys don't get lucky, but like some, some. Do. There you, go. Um, you should go on sixty days in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should go on Master you just Chef. Loving it. You should go on Master Chef. An Australian on that show would be funny though, because they send you to like these hectic American prisons. No, you should go on Master. Chef and then cook up magic mushrooms oh. for yeah, the judges. I like to go on SAS. They had Richard Buttrose on uh, SAS who did like a decade in prison for pushing coke. And yeah. so, I mean, the door's open there for yeah, the okay. to do SAS. I'm trying to get Richard Buttrose on my podcast, actually. Um, it's a funny name. Yeah. A, actually, both of it, Dick Buttrose. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 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 what are you, eight? <laughs> He's but never coming on your podcast uh, now. But <laughs> roast. That is funny. In jail, it was butt roast. Oh, yeah, no, nice, I don't know. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shout out to Richard. Yeah, yeah, come on the podcast. Come on the podcast. Um, I, I don't know how to do a segue with this, <laughs> but I need to talk about the red hot shitty peppers. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Oh, Did you go? Bro. Yeah, I went. And then they didn't play so many big songs. And I'm a very fair weather fan. Oh, yeah. I saw you say, oh, they didn't even play Scar Tissue. And I'm like, that's not even like a vibey, fun oh, Chili Peppers song. it's a good song, like, Scar though. Scar Tissue that I wish you saw. Yeah, what, are you going to fucking get <laughs> your lighter up? You to it, bro. You do. That's how <laughs> you, you play. Okay, okay. So <laughs> I went on the Thursday night's show. And then they did one last night, too. So I wonder what the set list was different mm. for last night. I assume not. But my point is, they're what, 60, are they? Yeah, probably pushing that, yeah. Pushing that. Yeah, they have a new album out last year or whatever, but they're getting Post Malone to open because they it's want random. to move heaps of tickets. Yeah, okay. that'll work. Fine. You don't have that many tools left in Australia. You haven't had a single in the top 10 in 15 years. You know <laughs> that. You're charging over 200 bucks a ticket. You can play your suck it up and play your big songs in a two hour fucking set. What didn't they play? They played apart like from eighty minutes of new songs, bro. Well, I wrote down some of them. Okay, let's hear. There's it. all these articles in the news at the moment, like about their their set list. Was, oh yeah, yeah. I've got, got the set list. They, they didn't play Scar yeah, Tissue, Under the Bridge, mm. Suck My Kiss. Oh wow. Dally, uh, Danny California and Road Trippin. They were just mm. five of the big ones. Under the Bridge, bro. Sometimes I feel like I, I don't know. have a partner. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, they, played, <laughs> they played six songs that were released last year, which is probably six too many. Yeah, oh, bro. Uh, yeah. One's, right. one's a push. But at some point, that's ego because, like, you know how happy it would make everyone in the crowd. Mm. Why are you doing all that? And you, the, you, the, the crowd noticeably just sort of stopped dancing. And they'll just look around and go, oh. They had a song in the um, Beavers and Butthead Do America <laughs> movie called Roller Coaster of Love. That's like my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Roller Coaster. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That is a good is song. Is that them? Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. I do know that song. So yeah. got, I should have played that one. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. So that's why I don't have much of a voice today. Is um, that why? Well, 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 was that your show? into my show, yeah. which well, I did, I don't know, I didn't do two, we probably did two hours total, did we? I have no idea. Hour 30, which yeah, is a lot a, of talking what I wasn't ready for. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of yelling at Curly. <laughs> and then that other random chick who's like, <laughs> yeah. what did she say? Shit segue. I was like, that's not even a fucking segue. It's called a tag, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I did just some tag that didn't really go that well. She's like, yeah. oh, keep it except the segue. I'm like, that's not what a fucking segue is. I was watching the- um, <laughs> These are your fans. Yeah. No, yeah. she wasn't. She was a random that come into the room because sometimes there's a show on a Friday night. She was one of Skinner's mates. Oh, right, right. Yeah. That's funny. That's why she was dumb. Yeah. No, she was just hammered. She was just hammered. <laughs> 
But it was good anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was sick. Good it was good. Yeah, no, good. That yeah, was no, posty. Well, it's, well, Post Malone was incredible, bro, but he only mm. did like seven songs. And he did it. He started like 7.30. Post Malone is too good to be playing when it's bright sunlight. Yeah, that's weird. He's so good. Yeah. I had uh, a guy that I work with ask me like what good comedy shows were on Friday and I sent him to your show. Um, so Did he come? Oh, I'll find out tomorrow at work. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yeah. He sounded like he was keen to go. It was a river night because because I did all the jokes we might be doing on the on the tour, but for once, usually when I do a trial show, I haven't tried anything out. I'll have my laptop there. I'll be like, "This might work." How's when Chinese people speak like this? And you know, I try it out, and and it crushes, obviously. That basically because <laughs> I was going to do a trial show in about three or four weeks, yeah. and like I was panicking about trying to memorize it all. But no, you can just run. Yeah, out yeah, definitely. No, you have it on your laptop. You bill it as a trial warm up show. You make tickets a little less. Or even whatever. even when I did my first hour show in Melbourne, I just have the set list on a stool. So if I got distracted, just have a drink and see where I'm up to. You yeah. start. It start takes the with pressure something, off. You know, finish with. I mean, no, fuck around the middle. Just yeah. like sex, bro. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> just like sex. <laughs> you know, Your sex has a middle? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just the beginning. <laughs> the beginning was the end. <laughs> <laughs> One's a one-page book, yeah. <coughs> the finisher. Uh, the finisher. I guess the finisher at sex. We're like, oh, it's time to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say like you Mortal Kombat moves? Do it. Who Dokken? <laughs> Finish you. Did, did you do that credit with fun bags? Credit yeah. fun bags. I accidentally mispronounced her name and magic, <laughs> and I got Greta a credit fun, fun, <laughs> fun bag. <laughs> Sounds like a really old like stripper with really big tits, <laughs> like big saggy tits. Yeah, it was so funny, but uh, and I had to ask him afterwards. I'm like, did you? Was that accidental or deliberate? Because it just was too good. Greta fun no, bags. No, it was 100 accidental. I just got a Greta fun bag, so everything was like. Laugh and I was like, I guess she's got some fun bags now. She's over 18. I don't know. <laughs> Is she? <laughs> she's 19, bro. Um, but yeah, I, that wasn't. I was just riffing on That's the bit. I'll put it in there, bro. Greta fun Greta bags. Fun bags. Like <laughs> People have been saying either that the Red Hot Chili Peppers thing was either amazing. People have said it was like the best gig ever, or what you're saying, they were like just annoyed because mm. they had in their head like, well, these are the songs mm. they should play. Yeah, and I agree. I think all the obvious diehard fans would have loved it because they had listened to the new album heaps. Oh, finally, they're not just doing these mainstream crap. Yeah. But I think when you're that age and you're playing to a stadium mm. of 50,000, you know yeah. how many diehards are going to want track seven from your worst album. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like and you're charging 250 bucks yeah it's a lot yeah. of money to not play under the bridge I remember being at a music festival called Playground Weekender and I was like high off my tits on MD and I'd gone there to watch Cool and the Gang <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> and I was like uh, they're obviously going to play all the hits but then they didn't play their most famous song they didn't play Get Down On It and oh, I was like, yeah. like yeah. celebrate and I'm like surely they're going to finish yeah, with Get Down On It I was like thank you good night I'm like oh. what the fuck they, they're not even releasing new albums it was just like obscure songs from like their no. previous albums and you're always like oh maybe they're doing an encore and they yeah. just don't yeah. come back you're like oh. yeah I was done <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no that's I think it's a, it's a key one I think you got to play your big hits uh, mm. my band's on a festival slot and uh, for the first time in ever, and I know our third most stream song is "Sick Cut Number Five. That so doesn't really hit on a festival. We kind of want to do rock <laughs> bangers. So I'm like, am I about to become Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yeah, so I'll be one disappointed bloke of the end going, you didn't play Sick Cut Number Five, bro. <laughs> it's so funny because it's a parody of Mumbo Number Five <laughs> from 30 years ago. <laughs> I got to hear this song. <laughs> oh, I can do it now, bro. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody get smoking. Come on, let's drive to the bottle line in a servo. The boys say they want some VB or whatever's on special. <laughs> that was more in tune than what I usually do. It. Um, and now also in a month, I'm going to My Chemical Romance. Uh -huh. And I'm fucking excited for that. And because of the mishap, miscommunication between me and Anthony Keaties, um, I'm going through all their albums, listening to the least stream songs. Nice. I've forgotten about the most streams. I'm like, mm. I'll just go. Just so you're what, familiar in case they pull out the yes. obscure ones. Yes. So like, oh, I can't believe they're doing it, but yes. I'm only listening to the obscure songs. <laughs> That's I good. will not be ready for any other song. Did you do you did you find out with your festival because there's comedians as yes, well? Yes, yes, yes. Are you on the comedian stage? I, I hope. 
Because I for read, their sake, I'm not because it will be annoying following our band. Because yeah. <laughs> I was looking at how they set it up, and I was like reading the page. I'm like, I reckon they're gonna put you on the. No, nah, I'm pretty sure on the band side because we're early in Yavo. Well, maybe a four. Or I don't know exactly our time about set, but an afternoon set on a bigger stage, and it's been many emails have gone back and forth saying oh, they're playing good. music. It's the band. Frenchie in the band. Yeah. Only music. So, but yeah, you cool. know how things get lost in translation. You just made me remember something about My Chemical Romance. There's a video that my brother, fuck the dickhead, put on YouTube years ago where we were at a kick on party at his place. And it was like seven <laughs> in the morning and we were stapling each other. <laughs> 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 I got like stapled in the nipple with oh. a staple gun, right? And um, in the background, just co- purely coincidentally on the radio, was My Chemical Romance. Oh, and so, so when it, like, he put this on YouTube, it had like 100,000 views. And it was mostly people going, like, because they heard the music, they're like, oh, you emo, loser, kill yourself. Oh, like, <laughs> he told he was stapling himself to yes, My Chem. Yeah, stapling myself to My Chemical Romance. Well, you emo, loser, kill yourself. I, I know you're not dealing at the moment, but that was <laughs> that story's a great idea. Advertisement for your drugs. <laughs> yeah, oh, seven a.m. We're we'll just stapling be... ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> They're on some fucking acting shit there. That can be your next tour. It can be called yeah. Stapling Myself to My Chemical Romance. <laughs> <laughs> Staple Man. Staple. That'd be a good nickname for him. <laughs> if you're a wrestler, yeah. Andrew the Stapler Hamilton, <laughs> and you come out with staples going. <laughs> 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 yeah, it only works like at point blank range. We tried shooting staples like from range at my ass, but uh, it's it's got to be pretty close. You got to be close. Yeah, for we'll like do actually the amount of new sports they're putting in the Olympics it won't be long to <laughs> yeah, that's in there. staple ass shoot is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch that more than a lot of the other sports. Oh, that already I, would, exist. I would watch the shit out of that. Alex, how are you going, mate? Yeah, good. Alex has been sick. Mm. So, what have you, you had? Some kind of flu yeah. over my birthday as well. So my birthday. Oh well. yeah, oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! How He's only twenty five. Oh, I got you flowers. Oh, uh, <laughs> Don't take my flowers. I got you um, flowers. <laughs> for my quarter century, for my when I had my twenty fifth, I hired two dwarfs to walk around the party with plates of cocaine on their heads. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because my I, my brother-in-law had told me the Queen used to do that all the time. And I was like, fuck, you don't need to be a rock star to do that. So there was a website. It might still exist called dwarfmyparty.com. And uh, I hired two dwarfs for four hours. cost a thousand bucks. It was called the Double Trouble Package. And, That's um, amazing. When they were like... Uh, they said, do you want the dwarves to dress up in anything fancy? And I said, look, no, well, I don't want to demean them. Uh, <laughs> but then when I got there, I said, boys, do you mind walking around with plates of cocaine on, on your heads for a little while? And they're like, no, we get us that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. But then uh, just so that we didn't feel like we were taking advantage of them, uh, I got down on my knees and, and had the plate on, on my head as well so that they could partake. But then uh, they were only hired to be there till midnight. But then they hung around and got pissed with us. And we went on this pub crawl. And we went to this pub. We went to Kelly's on King in yeah, New Zealand. Yeah. And the bouncer looked at me and goes, um, he goes, oh, no, nah, mate, not tonight. You can't come in. And I'm like, why? And he goes, not you, the dwarf. <laughs> he goes, he's a known troublemaker. <laughs> and so I had to vouch for the dwarf that I would like, uh, for Alex the dwarf, that I would like keep an eye on him. <laughs> so funny and the then, known troublemaker see, I think the problem was it's an Irish bar and they've got real issues with leprechauns uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> trying to steal the gold um, we ended up becoming good friends and then for my next birthday uh, they just came socially and so then <laughs> when I was living in Bondi at that time and I had this big backyard and the cops came because of a noise complaint they came into the backyard and there was a, uh, two dwarfs <laughs> and uh, my girlfriend at the time was a magician's assistant oh my and goodness. so there was a magician and two dwarfs the cops just came to like we're going to leave you guys to it. So, <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to be, like, they didn't want to like be responsible for ruining this ridiculous party. That's uh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a good time. I am. Um, um, oh yeah. You got the website. It yeah. yeah, does still exist. Dwarf My Party still exists. Homepage. Dwarf Fire in Australia is rare. And at Dwarf My Party, we hire dwarfs. <laughs> We reminiscent of our ch- one's childhood days. We aim to bring back fond memories of your favorite characters. Our dwarf hide actors are experts at what they do and supply unique service that will entertain and leave a lasting impression on everyone involved at the event. We should hire one for one of your shows. Oh, definitely. 
yeah. sell the merch or just, something. We should just try to find um, the one that was at uh, yeah. Hamo's party. So they could go get around him on the podcast. Go around the uh, oh yeah. So go sad, around the crowd sadly, with Coke. The, 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 there's a tragic end to this story. Oh, oh no. Yeah. no. So um, these guys, Alex and Naz, were these dwarfs that I became friends with, and they used to invite me all the time to go to Scary Canary, uh, where they were doing dwarf jelly wrestling. Oh right? my god! And um, so I'd go there <laughs> and like get pissed with them and watch them like wrestle like hot backpackers and <laughs> jelly and all that. I was like, that's the dream uh, gig. Every time they call me, like, how, how much you want to come to a dwarf jelly wrestling event? I'm like, how do you say no to that? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm there. I'm there. It's got everything. But then I wasn't there one time, and Alex actually. Uh, he uh, was doing too much coke and his heart stopped and he died at Scary Canary. Oh, oh shit. Oh, Mid-wrestle? Yeah. What? Was he wrestling? I don't I don't think so. Yeah. It was afterwards. That's I was like, oh, fuck, cool, bro. Yeah. Yeah, Poor literally. Bus. But I mean, you never see an el- you never see an elderly dwarf, right? Mm. You never s- are they, I think they burn the candle twice as fast and, you know. So yeah, they, they, sh- they shouldn't definitely be doing full lines of they live like their statues <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah so uh, rest in peace Alex more of a dash but anyway the website still exists I'm sure you can get some other dwarfs but it yeah was we should get some for the podcast or just for a, we should for get a Melbourne launch party smaller versions of us that'd be cool yeah that would be sick and now uh, we'll get them to sit next to each other so that we'll get, have one with a yeah you, want, you have one next to you I have one next to me and then we just have a normal podcast and make no reference yep. to it <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I actually yeah. love that idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, so, did you, so did you have something similar planned for your 25th? Yeah. Yeah, what did you do for your 25th? He was sick. I was sick. I was just at home. But are you going to do something now? You're feeling better? Probably not. It's, 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 yeah. Yeah. it's not his 21st. He's over the hill now. 25. Oh, yeah. You old. You late, thir- late 20s, bro. Late 20s. 25. Yeah, you late 20s. Is that late 20s? Well, you, you can argue with it. It's not early 20s. We'll say that. Did you, you say mid-20s? Mid it's mid-20s, yeah. but also you're closer to 30 than you are to 20. Mm. Just a lot. If you're rounding up, which you generally do. Yeah. You're closer to dead than alive. No, say. that's too far. <laughs> <laughs> too dark. I'm sorry. Did yeah. you get a present? Yeah, I got a nose and hair trimmer. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, you're old. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's nose a, a nose. And ear yeah, nose, nose, and ear trimmer. Yeah, you're into the practical presence phase yeah. of your life. Well done. Yeah, nose yeah, trimmer. I was actually Welcome. stoked on it. Welcome. Yeah, no, it's better. <laughs> nose trimmers are pretty good. I can yeah. use and a DVD of <laughs> yeah. yeah the hairiness I'm boys seeing life. now, I'm yeah. surprised you didn't already have one. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, I used to just say braid it, tuck it back in, <laughs> <laughs> push it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's the, got a thick mane of beard. Yeah, he could do whatever he wants with that beard. It's incredible. Okay. Do you have a neck? Is that the do you have one? a neck trimmer? Um, his dad does it. Yeah, my dad did it today. Looking pretty good, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's done those edges Fuck nice. <laughs> Did edges. Okay, what do we want to talk about then, Alex? Do we have I any w- trending stories? Oh, oh yeah, I've got. Or um, was there something else you had questions? planned? He's our producer, so he does plan things, but apparently we don't need to. Now yeah. we've got a, a guest who knows how to talk, unlike me and Tom. Usually about oh. 30 minutes in, we're like, oh, I'm sick of talking to you. Oh, yeah. Jump in, Alex, oh, please. please. <laughs> we need something. What's, what's the normal format of this one? Oh, <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> Normally there's you're more singing. About, <laughs> you're talking about what's the top, on the top of your head for the first 15 minutes, and then yeah. you like start uh, Googling things. Yeah, 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 and then we fight, and then we yeah. fight. <laughs> and we, we tag team in small versions of us and they do the rest <laughs> <laughs> that was a door thing yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got it. I got um it. so i got a question from a fan here okay um hello australian here from perth uh who is going into the locker in one month for three months this is at odds with oh. everything that has happened in my life i've never had Full a record locker. prior to this and never been in trouble university educated full-time work even volunteered blah 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 so <laughs> what so what can i Get, what can I do to uh, prepare for, for jail? Did this question come because I knew I was coming on or is this just a pure coincidence? Yeah, did we tell it's someone? Pure coincidence. Is it actually? No, no, I just pulled it from Reddit. We could have put a questions out. We should have done that. Yeah. No, yeah. we did. Okay. <laughs> you had me mind fucked for a second. I was, yeah, like, I was, the, I was, I was like, mind fucked too. I was like, I don't. I was like, what are the chances? What uh, are the chances? <laughs> <laughs> we should have if we had more time to prep, but it was a last <laughs> last minute. Okay, so they've got three months to prepare. One month. One month and to prepare. Going in for three months. Three months. Fuck. I mean, it's not even that long. <sighs> I, I would say just um, Dang. don't. Don't rack, yeah. don't gamble in there. Don't rack up drug debts if you're in there on um, like 
fine, non-disgusting crimes than as long as you're not talking shit. And other than that, you should be all right. Uh, and if people try to come at you to rob you, then just stick up for yourself. Yeah. So <laughs> there's what we, the kind of what we covered earlier yeah, for yeah. our um, <laughs> for our listener. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sending that question, uh, Jessica really Stevenson. Mark, forget why did you tell us? Yeah. Why did you tell us it was from Reddit? Though, fine, you're going to pull a question and make it seem like it's yeah. for our guest. They don't tell him straight away. I can't lie. I'm also, <laughs> it started so shit when he goes, so "We got an Australian from Perth." <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you said. Yeah, we had this. No they shit. sent it in. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. Like, That's a weird hello, way to start. Australian Perth. Hello, Australian <laughs> Perth guy here. <laughs> Human being here. Definitely not a fake person. <laughs> Love, love the show. <laughs> no, no, this is a, this is a real question, but po- it's fr- it's from Reddit. It's not, yeah. not a real Rob question Parker. for us. No, it's just a no. Then what's the point in giving this? advice to no one? Uh, it's got a question mark on you, the end of the sentence. <laughs> do you guys ever get questions from? People? We, oh, do, we do. We yeah. have. They're oh, usually some just... bloke ripping a bong, like on audio message. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Accidentally <laughs> dialed in. <laughs> He'll be like. <laughs> Uh, anyway, boys, oh, what do you think about pie prices going up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just be unrelated to a shit. <laughs> Not expensive pie today. That's uh, what I thought of that. I was like, that was a lot for a pie. What were the other questions you got? Uh, I feel like it was yeah, eight bucks, if you're um, wondering. <laughs> what is a dead giveaway someone is not to be fucked with? Mm. Is that in prison? Maybe in and out. No, go out. Let's go out. Out of prison. Both. Let's do both. So you answer for prison. No, mix it up. He's answering all the prison questions. (laughs) Okay, you answer the prison question, Frenchie? Dead giveaway someone's not to be fucked with. Okay. Um, They've got a syringe in their hand. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they got really busted up knuckles like they've already dealt with someone already. Oh, you're looking at the knucks, are you? Oh, yeah. I think... Oh, easy. This is easy, actually. They're listening to music through their phone without <laughs> headphones. Oh. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's yeah. a confidence. <laughs> and it is bobbing. Yeah. yeah. It is bobbing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. There was a guy on my bus recently who had, like, big headphones in, but it was so loud, like, everyone could hear it on the bus. And he was sitting there. You know when these dickheads, like, uh, have, like, a two-seater seat, but they sit on, like, the outside mm. seat so no one else can sit yep. next to them? And he was just sitting there rocking. Rocking. Yeah. Rocking's a good like, one. Yeah. I was like, normally, I would say, like, hey, mate, like, this, the bus is full. How about you let out on the people? I was like, <laughs> I think we were all like, let's leave this guy alone. Yeah, yeah. He looks like a ticking time bomb. Yeah. 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 Rocking's Literally. a good one when they're rocking. He's making yeah. that metronome <laughs> noise. Hamilton, it's not worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon... Those are good. I've got one to throw in the ring. When, okay. when people ride their bike on the highest gear around the city. And oh, yeah. Their <laughs> legs are just <laughs> moving <laughs> too fast. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Or <laughs> when there's a guy punching the pokies. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you see that, you're like, he's having a bad day. Yeah. Don't yeah. say anything. You don't want to be like, chin up, pal. Like, yeah, uh, yeah just leave him alone. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, when I pick up the stool and start smashing. Yeah. Big red. Yeah. yeah. A, good, a good one to do for them is you point to the ATM and you go, oh, this machine's paying out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, give it a go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, when someone like, is broken down and people do that thing from TikTok where you're like, you can't park there, mate. It's like, <laughs> fuck, that's in, shut the fuck up. Mm, <laughs> you can't park there, mate. <laughs> so annoying. I've what? got another question you here. Got, you got any trending stories? Yeah, I got a trending new story. Stories? Okay. Uh, TikToker pushes for Australia's first adults only suburb. An Australian TikToker, tic- TikToker named Baby Soja has suggested the creation <laughs> of an adults only suburb. Serger argues that the uh, uh, that the suburb is needed for adults who are tired of dealing with noisy children in public places, citing her recent experience at a public pool as an example. <laughs> Get your own pool then. <laughs> yeah, legit. <laughs> sounds like a first world problem. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I think she's like just bitter it. that she doesn't have any kids. Yeah, that's what it yeah. sounds like. But also, like, public pools are... 
are the place I expect kids to be. Oh, 100%. Who else wants to swim in those disgusting oh, public pools? Oh, it's filled pools? with piss. It's filled with kids' piss. Yeah. Why are you going there anyway oh. to complain about kids? And why are you wearing a snorkel, Frenchie? Oh, there's too many... <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn this on me. Don't turn this on me. It sounds like the people that move in next to like a hundred year old pub and com- and start giving in yeah. those complaints. Yeah. You know, like just going out to the burbs where there's heaps of families and then like kids are having fun like it's <laughs> two in the afternoon. Why are they riding their bikes on this cul de sac? And it's like we do have all elderly communities. They're called retirement yeah, homes. And you should go early and check yourself in. And I'm pretty sure you can. You just have to you pay. C- you can. There's adults only. Kids never go visit them. No. Never. No, they smell weird. Oh, don't they? <laughs> they wear their pants too high. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, their teeth are fake. No. Oh, yeah. Those fake teeth are scary mm. for a while. Yeah. The water tastes funny. But they keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> um. We, I got in, I got asked to go and look, do comedy at a, an old fi- retirement village oh, wow. a couple of months ago and I took a few other like open micers <laughs> and a few other comics and uh, it didn't go great. I mean, yeah, it wasn't great. I, I think we offended quite a few of them. Yeah. They haven't been invited back. Um, That's but funny. I, but, I, but I find, uh, okay, old folks home, you're probably at the level where you have a certain amount of jokes. Mm. Hopefully the stuff you're already doing is going to work. Well, I, I was like, I don't want to do jail stuff, so I just like try to do like old people jokes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you had to write special new stuff just for them, yeah. not tried and tested. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, exactly. It's like uh, I've only got a certain amount that will work for old people's retirement home that I'm doing at the moment. No, I'm actually, probably nothing. Yeah, I was thinking. <laughs> so I, don't know, I, don't I was know just racking through They'll your content. New jokes that I haven't tried. Bombing. I'm bombing there too. Everyone's bombing there. You're like, what about Greta Funbag? <laughs> Greta Funbag. They're like, who the who? fuck is <laughs> Greta? Greta, <laughs> they're talking about you. Oh, uh, she they does are. all the stuff about global warming. What the fuck is global warming? <laughs> Greta, get your fun bags out. Be well, remember when Greta pies there. cost only five um, cents? Five cents. I would pay the 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 boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna the boy. I was gonna put a different adjective in front <laughs> of that. <laughs> we're, to, we're gonna figure out what we're trying to use. There's too many options. Oh, tell us about your podcast. We haven't mentioned that. So uh, I was trying to think of what something that I can do as a podcast, which makes sense for me. And I, I would never have done comedy if I didn't get arrested, right? Mm-hmm. Um, go to prison. So it's just mm. funny how the world works. So I call it Shit's Gone Sideways and I interview people about times when their life went pear-shaped and how they kind of grow from it. So <coughs> I'll be honest, I talk to a, a lot of ex-crims. Yeah. Yes. Um, that's that's like at least half my guess. But then I also talk to uh, comics. I talked to a guy who was like in Jehovah's Witness till he was by age of 30 and then he left and his whole family and friends turned their back on him. It's like, so crazy. They totally excommunicate yeah. him. Yeah. Um, but my first guest was John Killick who uh, famously, famously escaped from Silverwater Jail in 1999 when his girlfriend hijacked a helicopter at gunpoint. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, wow. That's so cool. And landed in the yard and he jumped in and they flew off and he was on the <laughs> run for 40 days. That's fucking sick. 40 days. It's like, probably the most daring prison escape in Australian history. Yeah. Did he think after 40 days they'll just stop looking? He's like, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you make, no. It should be a rule if you make 40, you're free. You're like, yeah, oh, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we were so close, John. <laughs> you got us by a day. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. Where, where was he hiding? Uh, they were just hiding out Spoiler. at some hotel. And uh, someone that they'd, um, they'd rubbed the wrong way, like, Rutted them out. So, but that was was it. Was it your ex? Snitches. What was it? My ex. (laughs) (laughs) It was my goddamn ex fiance again. Again. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, uh, yeah, I've I've spoken a a bunch of uh, pretty high profile um, crims, but yeah, it's just it's just about people sharing stories of when shit hit the fan. Yeah, that's Um, cool, and it's fun. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Shit's gone sideways. Mm, maybe you could go on there because you recently got engaged as well. Oh, yeah. So did you. We <laughs> both have our shit's gone sideways, bro. I'll just talk about the red hot shitty peppers. That's what I'll talk about. <laughs> Speak on their behalf. Well, you've got to have the bit about the crisis, then you're recovering from it. Oh. So maybe. We- yeah. <laughs> That's the crisis. Wait a little while. Yeah. I don't even go to concerts. <laughs> <laughs> Make it. I should be able to choose the set list, okay? Because mm. I barely ever go. That's it. It's probably on me for not going to concerts <laughs> enough. I should have expected it. But at the same time, mm. how can you keep your body so good, but your mind's not so good? True. 
Mm. You know right, guys, California. Red I've Hot Chili heard, Peppers. I've heard, yeah. <laughs> heard, heard their song titles. <laughs> Every fucking song's about California. Anyway, is this the end of the podcast? Yeah, okay, this cool. Is it. Thank you for coming on. Alex, thank you. I'm glad you're getting better. Tom, Check out Andrew Hamilton on uh, TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff. Go to his gigs if you're in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, it'll be awesome. Yes, please come if you're in Melbourne. I need as many people to come as possible. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm yeah. fucked up. Yes. Way. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll chat in the Discord of the Patreon. If you're not already a Patreon, we'll see if all the Discords want it. People want to go on the same night. We can make a drink out of it. Yeah. That could be fun. That's fun. Tom might be in a, somewhere else. Though. Oh, I'm going to New York. Oh man! Oh, yeah. in New York, concrete jungle <laughs> where dreams are made. <laughs> and fade it out, fade it out. Where dreams, dreams are made. Turn it off, Alex. Turn it off. 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 Tur